Samsung is back with the AO series and this time we've got the Galaxy AO6. Last year AO5 was a bit slow and lacked a fingerprint reader. Will this year's AO6 be any better? Let's find out. Don't get me wrong, I understand the A06 is designed for people that don't prioritize specs and power. However, in 2024, I believe brands should move away from offering phones with 3GB or 4GB RAM. A lag free experience should be the standard, at least we should get the best performance. With that being said, let's talk about the unboxing. Opening up the Galaxy A06, you're greeted with a box that houses the manual and the USB-C cable. After that, you see the device itself and we get a SIM injector tool and no, there's no charging brick and I think we're used to seeing that these days from Samsung. For the design, the Galaxy A06 features a shiny plastic back with textured line pattern that adds a bit of flair and improves the grip. While the back looks premium and more refined than most budget phones in its price range, it's still a fingerprint magnet so you might find yourself wiping down this phone time to time. Despite the glossy finish, the overall build of this device is solid and impressive for the price range. On the front, the AO5 spots thick bezels though they are acceptable for a budget phone. The water drop notch is thinner than previous models which gives it a slightly more modern aesthetic. There's no mention of water or dust resistance so you want to be careful with this device in water. But the phone's built is sturdy for everyday use. For the display, the AO5 comes with a 6.7 inch vibrant LCD display and it offers decent color reproduction and sharpness. With 564 nits of brightness, it's bright enough for indoor use and some outdoor situations. However, the 60 hz refresh rate is a bit of a drawback, especially when you consider some competition in this same price range of a 90 to 120 hz display. That smooth scrolling experience would have been a great addition here. When it comes to audio, the mono speakers deliver a solid performance, not mind blowing, but good enough for casual media consumption. Given the price range, the display and audio setup still holds up its own, especially for streaming audio and watching videos. For software, the A06 runs on One UI 6.1 on top of Android 14, bringing you some of the latest features from Android 14. The interface is clean and intuitive and is designed for you to use easily, making it a great fit for the target audience. You get the essentials from Android 14 such as privacy controls, better notification management, and smooth multitasking. However, there are some things missing. You don't get AI features you find on higher Samsung devices, but given the phone's price point, those features are not really expected. Another feature absent is Edge Panel, which some Samsung users might find it useful. But it's a budget device, what do you expect? On the bright side, Samsung promises two OS updates on the AO6, meaning you get security patches and up-to-date software. For the software, it's powered by the Helio G85, which is the same as last year. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed. No upgrades at all. The processor managed an Antutu score of 250k which is pretty average for today's standard but normal for the price point. When it comes to gaming, if you're into Call of Duty, you're stuck at medium graphics and ok frame rates. PUBG can also be played at low graphic frame rates and resolution which isn't ideal if you're aiming for smoother gaming sessions. If you're hoping to play Warzone, bad news, it's not available for download on this device. Overall, this device is okay for daily use but I did experience occasional lag and choppiness especially with multitasking or using the camera. For storage, the AO6 comes with 64GB internal storage which to be honest is quite outdated. Even for a budget device, I don't think devices should still come with 64GB, at least 128 or 256 With that being said, you still have an option to expand with microSD up to one terabyte which can help you if you need more space for apps photos and media now let's talk about the battery the AO5 is packed with 5000 mAh battery which is solid for a device in this range on the heavy usage you should expect to get 13 to 14 hours of screen time which is enough to get you through your day with light usage you can get at least 24 hours without needing to charge this device when it comes to charging it supports 25 watts fast charging which is a nice upgrade compared to what the competition offers which is 10 watts you can charge this device from 0 to 100 in an hour and 30 minutes which is pretty decent for the battery size for the camera the AO5 comes with a dual camera setup of 50 megapixel which is the main sensor and autofocus of 2 megapixel. It also has an LED flash for low light moments. On the front, you get an 80 megapixel selfie camera, pretty standard for a budget device. When it comes to image quality, the results are average, which is okay for this price point. 
Photos in tricky light conditions can lack details and look a little blur. Night mode also struggles with noticeable noise and soft details in low lights. On the video side, it can record 1080p at both 30 frames and 60 frames per second. The video quality is decent for casual use. There's no 4K, but you can record at 1080p. For connectivity, the AOC supports 4G LTE, so you can get decent speed of browsing, streaming, or using apps. But keep in mind, there's no 5G, which could be a downside. But I don't know any Android devices that have 5G, except the A15, which is more expensive. You get Bluetooth 5.0 included, which is reliable for connection for wireless earbuds and other Bluetooth devices. You also get 3.5mm headphone jack, great for the use of wired headphones. For security, the AO6 offers the basics. You get a rear mounted fingerprint scanner, which is very fast for unlocking this device. There's also face unlock, but it's software based, so it's not as secure as high-end devices. But you can also still use PIN, pattern, or password to lock your device. So as usual, pros and cons. Pro number one, amazing battery, 5000 mAh. But then again, most devices in this price range comes with 5000 mAh. But the battery is good. You can get 13 hours. If you're a heavy user, you can get 24 hours as a light user. Pro number two, 25 hours fast charging. It's quite good. Fast charging on a budget device. Most devices in this price point will give you 10 watts, which is sad. Pro number three, vibrant display. One of the best LCD display I've seen in this price point. For a budget phone, I didn't think we would get this much good display. So kudos to Samsung. Pro number four, two years of software updates, which is amazing. Most devices in this price point, there's no hope, like literally no hope for software updates. So kudos to Samsung. Now let's talk about the cons. Con number one, 64 gig of storage, it's too small. That's like, last time I saw this kind of storage was like 2001 or so. <laughs> Samsung, you guys, you need to do better. One to eight at least should be the standard. Con number two, the device is quite slow. It's as slow as the AO5. Yes, devices on this price point are not supposed to be fast because of you're trying to mice the budget, but this is this is too slow. It's as good as not making devices like this in the first place. I think it can be better. Maybe reduce the the OS, reduce the features or something. Maybe it can get better. Now for my conclusion, I think the AO6 is a decent device for a budget phone. You have amazing features. Samsung's One UI 6.1 is really, really good. It gives you that that good Android experience. But I think the device can be better. I've been saying this for too long. I've been saying this since the AO5. It is a slow device. It needs to be faster. Yes, people in this price point are looking for something that is durable, something with a large battery, but operation is like operating it is sad. 60 hertz, too slow. User interface, too slow. I think Samsung should do better. I'll just kill out this line and focus on the A15. Anyways, that's my review on the AO6. I hope you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in the next one also drop a comment and let me know what you think about the review bye